Joel, and you know, the roof we gave me came about. So we thank God. Let's bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Father, God, we thank you for allowing us to be in your house one, once again. We thank you that we can kind of privilege to be in the house of prayer. House of God, and we kind of privilege to pray for your word. And we thank you that you bless us, that you will bless us as we begin to do this. And let the words of our mouth and meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. My text today is God's protector. So as the bishop has said, uh, that we had sleep today. I think that, that word is uh, well in my spirit, protector. And uh, how he renders protection unto us. I thank give on to Spirit of Christ, thank give on to Bishop Benjamin, and I thank God for all of us today, um, Brother Joel and uh, Sean and Shane. I thank God for all of us being in the midst today in the house uh, today. Yeah, I'm so glad about what the Lord is doing in our lives. And, and as Joel was talking about the, the rules of engagement, I thought about how that, how that God, um, he not gave to fight to God. And, then, and, and he said he couldn't use sauce. He wouldn't use it. They kind of go down with all that stuff. I began to think about how that Saul, he, he, he didn't uh, fight and go against Goliath, Goliath himself with that stuff. But yet he wanted to put it on David. As well I mean, as he may have been, David let him know, I'm going to go with what I'm used to. It's the reason why God had David where he was. God knew that he was going to have to use what he had one day for something deeper. So today, God is our protection, our protector. God is protector. He causes us to fight, and he, he causes us to be victorious. Actually, because, because the victory is it's his anyway, it's already won. In our case today, um, God is protector. Um, man one, Psalms man one, sorry. One through six, and then nine through sixteen. God is protector. He's the sound of protection. It says here, uh, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He's my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Here David is talking about the right of, of, of Psalms, David. He found out, and we, we find that today, finding out that they have found out, that God is our is protector, is our protector. He, 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 God is the one, he, God is the one that dwells in the shadow of the Most High. And, and he, he, he rests in the shadow of the Almighty. Cause us to rest in shadow of the Almighty. Um, dwells being parallel to the word rest in the shadow of the Most High. Being parallel to the to shadow of the Almighty. God is our protection. Mm -hmm. He said in the second verse, well, following up the first verse again, he said, um, we can get an image in our mind but by wings. He he dwells in the shadow of the most high and rests in the shadow of the Almighty. Um in the second verse he said, I will stay of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. David said, I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in whom I trust. They, they would, would have had to have, have a personal relationship with God to say that, call him my God. You, you can't call God your God unless you've had a personal, had or have a personal relationship with God. When you get born again, you find a God that he's your protector. But, and as you find that out, you, you can pretend, you not pretend, but you can continue to be in his presence. God will show you even more about him. 
you can, you'll feel uh, safe with calling God your, your God. He's my God. Because He can be your mother's and your father's God. We want, we want to find out and know that He's our God. When we need Him, we want to be able to call on Him. And He comes to our rescue. I don't know if someone told me this. I, I think I saw it on TV. Uh, there's a man that was going around uh, getting women at night and, and attacking them. Sexually attacking, attacking them. This one woman prayed, was praying because she had to walk a certain path. And she was praying. Somebody said the man told people that he could, he could not really get it. They finally caught the man. It's Benny Cotton said he said that he could not attack this woman. Because okay, I know somebody showed me that I think Brother Joel said that um, because he saw ain't two angels walking beside him, and that let me know today when we pray, we don't know what, how God, the what God yes I am is see. He was she was praying she was no doubt praying a prayer of protection and. Um, she didn't know, she probably didn't even know herself what God had allowed that man to see. So, so, so a lot of times when God protects us, he will cause our enemies to see certain things. When our enemies don't, uh, they don't attack us and they don't bother us. And we can't think that it, it was because of us, anything that we did, we began to go about that. It was God protecting us. God will let your enemies hear sounds it's just you, me, it's just us in here. But he will allow our enemies to hear a great sound like this, a bunch of people in here. And I heard people walk in and say, it sounded like the church was packed, like the building was packed. That's God. God will let our enemies hear things and see things. And they'll not be able to, to, to mess with us or bother us. Very great said, Sure that he will save you from the foul of sin mm -hmm. and from the deadly pistons. Anything that a trap is, 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 is a trap set for you, God's our protection. If, if our enemies is a trap for us, we won't even be able to. You know, it won't be able to harm us. I was in the um, this in the room one week. I don't know what some weeks ago, maybe a couple or so, and uh, a sock. I don't know if it was dry wet, but it fell. And this we had a trap that was still, still there from the time we needed it to be there. It was between the dryer and the, uh, in, in the washing machine. The sock fell on the trap, and the trap snapped the snock, sock up. And that's just, it had just how quick it would have snapped up anything else, if it had been anything else that got, got caught in there. And I, just, I thought about it, I said, I told him about it, I said, the this, this sock fell right on the trap, and the trap snapped the sock. And the sock was between the, 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 the trap, it was a, a, a sock between the trap. And so I, I just couldn't get over it. That's just how powerful that trap was. That anything that came near that trap, it was going to get it. So I think the praise, that's how God's protection is. In, anything that comes about, about a, a hurt a child of God, God will allow that, that, them to get themselves out of time to be hurt instead. They hurt their own self. They did this for you and they fall in it. Fourth verse says, He will cover you with his feathers, and on his wings you will find a refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Sometimes I think about God's protection. I think about years, years and years ago when I was in school, high school, uh, one lady Mason girl, she was saying, she was in my classroom, and she would tell different stories about how it was when she was up north, and she said, I'm not going to get ready to arrest you, uh, if they wanted to search you, they said, come up to you, the police will, and take the spread eagle, and I would listen to them. She said, that, that I mean, you got to spread your legs out, and then when they tell you to spread eagle, and um, I think about that, what, that's what the Lord tells our enemies many times. And that's just my way my mind <laughs> runs. I would think he would say, in a, he may want to say that, but in my mind, I'm thinking God, the, the same thing that like he would tell them to spread ego. And they, to, they can't hurt a child of God. Mm -hmm. When they have to, they have to obey the police. So it's, in a sense, in the natural, God is our policeman. 
and he would tell them. So then 